This is a meatball sub, except it's not meatballs. These are lentil balls, and they come out really good to the point where I don't think you would know they weren't regular meatballs. So I bought way too many lentils at the grocery store the other day. The bulk bin, you know, you pull down the handle. I ended up dumping out like three pounds of lentils and just went with it because I was too embarrassed to put them back. Uh, so I was looking up some lentil recipes and I came across this one from We Cook Vegan. And I wanted to try it and make it my own. I decided to make my version a meatball sandwich and I wanted to add a little bit of protein to it because, you know, I'm kind of on that protein kick right now. Now I will say this recipe is incredibly easy. It comes together really quick, uh, but we do need to soak our lentils, which takes about three hours. I'm gonna take one cup of lentils, dump them into my bowl, and then just add enough water to cover the lentils. That's a lot of water. Now we're just gonna let these sit and soak for about three hours. Okay, we're back. Now the lentils are done soaking. They have kind of doubled in size, I would say. But before we start making our meatballs, I'm gonna make the sauce. It's gonna be really easy. I just have four Roma tomatoes. Three Roma tomatoes. I don't know why I said four. Three, three, there's three here. I am tired. So I'm gonna throw these guys into a food processor along with a couple cloves of garlic, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. Big pinch of salt, pepper, around a tablespoon of tomato paste, and a little Italian seasoning for fun. And a little taste. Throw sauce all over the place. I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. This will cook with the meatballs, but as it is now, it's really good. So we're just gonna set this aside. Okay, so now at this point, we just need to drain our lentils and I'm gonna return them right back into the bowl. Now I'm just gonna use an immersion blender and blend these up real quick into like a paste. You can throw these into a food processor or a blender, but this is gonna work pretty well. Okay, so my battery's dead. So while I'm charging that, I'm going to uh, shred a carrot, a whole carrot. Uh, I'm also gonna chop up about a quarter of a white onion and mince one clove of garlic. Now I'm gonna toss a bit of olive oil into a nonstick pan and I'm gonna cook the onion until it's translucent. And then I'm gonna add the carrot and cook that for about five minutes before adding the garlic to finish it off. Yeah, now that that was charged, that, that blended up a heck of a lot better. So at this point, everything's cooked. We're just gonna mix this together. Now, Monica really likes to freeze her rice. So I always have just one cup portions of rice in the freezer. I'm just gonna use one of those. And that's actually gonna work perfect for this. It's gonna make it nice and fluffy once this thaws out. Actually, you know what? So, okay, I just thawed this rice out just really quickly. So now I wanna add a little bit more protein to this recipe. This is pretty much how they had it with seasoning. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of gluten flour, which is also gonna kinda help bind this up and keep these nice and chewy, but it's gonna add 23 grams of protein total, which will bring this up to a, around what a beef meatball would be. Now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon Italian herbs and seasonings, little sprinkle of crushed red pepper, way too much, and some salt. Now I'm gonna get in here by hand quickly. Now we're just gonna let this sit and rest for about 10 minutes, which is plenty of time for today's sponsor. Wild Grain is the first baked from frozen subscription box for sourdough breads, artisanal pastries, and fresh pastas. And I need to show you their new plant-based box. I mean, look at all this. These are all freezer to table in 25 minutes or less. So you can enjoy homemade quality whenever you like. I just got my first box and I'm blown away. The difference between store-bought or big box grocery store bakery breads is huge. And I mean, look at this. Mm. oh my gosh. It was like some of the best ciabatta I've ever had. Wild Grain partners with small bakers and pasta makers across the country. You're getting clean ingredients, real sourdough, hand-cut fresh pasta, real artisan pastries, all while supporting small bakeries. And for every new member, Wild Grain donates four meals to the Greater Boston Food Bank. That's awesome. Plus, they are constantly adding new, seasonal, and limited time specialties to try in your next Wild Grain box. So gang, pick up some of the best bread, pastries, and pastas, check out Wild Grain, Click the link in the description and use code SAUCEDASH. That will get you $30 off your first box. Plus, you'll get free plant-based croissants in every box. Wild Grain, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for the incredible bread that you sent me. Oh my gosh, I love this. Baby, do you wanna try some? So I'm just gonna make these meatballs probably, I don't know, about the size of a golf ball, maybe? I think that's probably about right. Once these are made, I'm just gonna get a pan heated with a bit of olive oil, pretty high, uh, and then we're just gonna brown these on each side. Once they're completely browned, I'm gonna toss the sauce in and then let these cook in the sauce for you know, about 10 minutes or so. Once they're cooked, 
Now I'm just gonna slice off two big squares of that wild grain ciabatta. Top the meatballs on with some plant-based cheese, a little bit of sauce. I'm gonna toss these in the oven for just a few minutes under the broiler to melt that cheese. And that is it. And this is a lentil meatball sandwich that's gonna be out of this world. I mean, I cannot wait for these. Cannot wait for these. First thing we're gonna do before our sandwich, cheers on a meatball. Cheers. Cheers, I just wanna see what you think. Okay. Mm. This is amazing. Right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and give it your give it your thoughts. I mean, I know this is a lentil meatball. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else is in it, but it's like very firm and meaty and uh, would really double as a meatball for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. super firm. I mean, you can literally mm -hmm. just take like a bite right out of it. Yeah. Doesn't fall apart. It's got a great like bounce and snap to it. Yeah, totally. It's not like, you know, sometimes like when I have like <laughs> falafel or whatever, it's a little no. bit like mushy or you, it's just like really soft. Mm -hmm. And like, this is like a meatball. Yeah. <laughs> Let's dive into our sandwich. Okay, I'm excited. Cheers. There you go, cheers. Meatball mm -hmm. sub out of lentils. Mm, come on. This is awesome. It's it's super awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. Everything's really good from the meatball to the sauce, mm -hmm. the flavor, the bread is like, it's not one of those, you know what I don't like is those breads that like you bite into and it's like super crunchy yeah. and it goes all over yeah, the place. It squishes everything out. This is like got a crunchy top to it and mm -hmm. then everything else is like soft and fluffy, mm. oh, just fluffy, like yeah. a cloud. Yeah, the new Daya cheese. Mm. I don't know about you, but I, I think it's out of this world. It melted perfectly. Yeah, like, it's, look perfect. At that. it's perfect. It's mm -hmm. perfect. This is way better than I thought it would be. Now, if I didn't tell you this was lentil meatballs, like, do you think you would have known? No, I wouldn't have guessed right away, like, oh, this is lentil. It tastes like meatballs. Mm hmm. Well, baby, this is part of dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Boom, do you have anything else to add? I mean, the bread is awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, just this, this is like super delicious, way yeah. better than I expected, and I'm stoked about it. Yeah. Really good. Super stoked. We have a ton of these in the freezer. That's the nice thing, these freeze perfectly. These are better than beef meatballs, in my opinion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay, very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's really good, baby. Yeah. Mm. 